Yeah. Was this thumb? Yeah. And you sprained it playing volleyball? I jumped, yeah, sprained it. Okay, <laughs> and so which way does it hurt to move? Back. It hurts to move back? Okay, so I'm going to just test things out a little bit. Can you show me bending down this way? Does that hurt? Yeah. Okay, where does it hurt? Right here. Right there, okay. How about, so extending this way on your own, does that hurt as well? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, okay. Um, then I'm just going to test out a couple of different movements. If we move it to the side that way, does that hurt? Okay, if we go to the side this way, does that hurt? No. No, so both those are okay. Um, if I bend it this way, yeah. that hurts. And we extend it this way. Yeah. That hurts more? Yeah. So is this, this is the worst, right? Going that way? Okay. So that's typical, right? Extension is painful. So we want to tape you to limit that. Basically, this is how we're going to do it. This is called an anchor. So we put the anchor down, um, starting inside the thumb here. Come around the back of the hand and then across so that it hits the base of your hand here. That's going to kind of deflect it up so that it um, tips inside the... Um, or tips in the direction that we want it to go. Notice I just pinched this little area here as well, so when we go through the web space of your finger, it's not gonna be um, hurting you there, right? Because it can cut you. So then we just turn it around this way, and we'll just tear it off there, right? So that's your anchor, okay? And then, use half strips for the next part. Um, generally, um, if you're taping this for yourself, you want to pre-tear it, so you'll learn how long it's supposed to be. Um, because extension is what hurts, you want to bring your hand into a position where it's not extended, but yet it's still functional, right? So you'll still be able to maybe set or hit a ball with your thumb in that position, right? That's really important, so... Um, actually, we'll start this way, so... Starting inside the thumb, wrapping around to the back of the hand first. That's the less important part of the tape job. Really nice and loose. You can see I'm going across the thumb super loose. And then as it comes into the palm this way, um, that's the more important part. So we have to make sure that your thumb was in the right position during that portion of the taping when you're laying that part down. Okay, so next strip. Gonna be the same thing. We're gonna do three strips just like this. Okay, so same thing, the one that's going to the back in this case a little less important. One that's going in towards the palm of the hand is a little more important. That's going to restrict you from coming back in that direction, right? Just going to make our strips a little more even. Okay, and we'll do one more. Just like this, right? So again, you can vary the angles a little bit that you apply the tape strips down. Right, so that one's a little bit more sharply angled, but you can see that's starting to prevent you from pulling in that direction. Okay, now, um, normally you'll have your tapes, so you do two different rolls, right? You'll have one that's in half strips, um, and then the last thing we do, if you look, um, if you turn your hand, you can see there's a little small spot there we call a window. Same thing on this side, we don't want those to be um, in the tape because that could lead to getting blisters or little tape cuts. So you just cover that over with one thing. This is called a hood. Uh, you just cover that over. Um, and then the last thing that we'll do is basically repeating the first anchor strip coming through this way. All right, again, hitting that bottom corner of the hand, pinch as it goes past the thumb, and then it turns around to the back here like that. Okay, rip it off. So, tapes on the back um, to end, and that way it's not going to come up. All right. Then for the next couple of minutes, you just kind of squeeze that in. All right. So squeeze it in with your other hand. This way. Yep. So squeeze the tape in so that it's going to stick nicely for you. Right. Squeeze down on your thumb and stuff. Okay. So the other thing that we do, we always want to check um, at the end. That feels a little better. Right. Yeah. So you can take that pressure a bit better. Um, we also want to check your capillary refill. So pinching the edge of the thumb, you can see it goes white for a second, but that comes back within three seconds. So you count one, two, three. All right, your circulation is back and the thumb's not turning purple, so you're gonna be okay, all right?
How's it feel? Feels better. Feels better? It's a lot of tape, right? So the first time you do it, usually people are like, wow, that's like, that's a lot of tape, right? But that's how it's supposed to be, okay? Thank you. Okay, thanks.